Metal Up World, this is CJ with MetalMotivation.com. This is the first of a new five-message series I'm doing on walking in power. Now, this is all shown in my Life Domination online coaching group, which is something I'd love for you to join. It's very easy to do and very inexpensive. You can learn more information at the link below, MetalMotivation.com forward slash Life Domination Coaching. But all this week, I'm talking about walking in power and what could I possibly mean by that? Walking in power means walking in personal power. It means walking with a energy, an energy that's not simply physical, an energy that's deeper than that, something that's deeper than just what's going on in your physical body. We see a lot of people are different from us. We see some that are energetic, others not so much. Some have to slug their way through life where it seems that others are just simply hyperactive But there is a deeper kind of power that doesn't manifest itself necessarily in hyperactivity, doesn't manifest itself in some sort of ADD format. There is power that can be manifested in someone who has a laid-back personality. It can be manifested in all sorts. But the key here is that it's a deeper form of power. And it arises out of certain things. It arises out of certain beliefs, certain convictions the outlook on life, the practices that you do, all of these things that you know go on on a daily basis in your life, they go to create that or weaken that sense of power. So when I say walking in power, I'm not talking about something that's momentary. I'm talking about something that's more consistent, something that's more regular in your life. Let's face it, for most of us, we are defeated in life because we defeat ourselves. Some of us, we don't really need any enemies because we're very proficient at being an enemy to ourselves. We're very proficient at standing in our own way, so we don't need too many roadblocks. We don't need too many hindrances or closed doors because we are sitting in doorless prisons all by ourselves, self-deceived, tricked in our own minds, and wrapped up in our own problems, circumstances, and the woe-is-me or pity party. And because of that, we are weakened in power, and so we don't walk in it. We walk in weakness. We walk in defeat. We walk in a realm that is so less than what we're capable of. And this sort of takes us maybe into the dimension of spiritual things. Now, you may not be a believer in God or that sort of thing. You may not believe in a um, dimension to humanity that is maybe above matter, above the physical body. But either way, we're talking about something that comes from within and something that's beyond simply, again, as I said, just what flits about in your brain There is deeper sources of power that get cultivated by what happens in your conscious thought. But eventually they get down to that subconscious level. What is subconscious? Well, it's obviously what's below conscious thought. There may be something going on in your mind right now. You might be concerned about this, worried about that, thinking about something else. Very surface-oriented. But below that, is another mind, and you act more in terms of that subconscious oftentimes than you do your conscious thought. And so that's why you fall back into certain habits of thought. That's why you fall back into, you know, um, certain behaviors that you can't seem to get free from. Your defense mechanisms always operate a certain way. You always fly off the handle about certain things. Why? Because you're more governed, not so much by what you've been telling yourself lately, but more so about what your deeper beliefs are, what that deeper mind is telling you, and that's the source of personal power. So when I say again, walking in power, I'm talking about something more consistent, a life that is lived in a more powerful way, where you become powerful in terms of your influence. You become powerful in terms of being more consistent with your daily disciplines to create the outcomes that you want. You know, to get yourself to do the things you know you need to be doing, but you don't feel much like doing them. That is the absence of power. So we want to walk in this greater dimension. We want to walk in this more powerful dimension. We want circumstances to 
be res- to to fall before us more than we falling before our circumstances and the more victories that you win as you start to walk in power the more powerful you're going to become and the greater things you're going to be able to defeat in your life and it won't be just the usual stuff You'll get past that soon. You'll get past the things you just don't feel like you can't get past. All those bad habits, all that stuff that's just junk, that's really just trivial. You'll get past that early on. But we want to get you to the place where you're dealing with the bigger things in life. And I'm not talking about like more illness, more debt, more suffering, more job loss, more bad relationships. I'm not talking about that in terms of bigger challenges. I'm talking about the things you have the possibility to do, the goals that maybe you dreamed about so long ago that maybe you've forgotten as you've gotten older. Those are the big challenges that defeating these smaller things are going to prepare you to overcome. And isn't that what you want in life, man? Don't you want to live your best life? Don't you want to do so much more? Don't you want to become so much more than what you are? Well, if that's the case, man, you've got to learn to start walking in power. Every step, every day, you're filled with that deeper sense of power, a force of life, a force of life that pushes you, that drives you, that gets you out of bed, that gets you out of your funk. You're not going to be taken out so much by this melancholy or depression all the time. You're not going to be stressed out all the time. You're not going to be anxious all the time because something is happening within you that's enabling you to walk in a deeper dimension than you've ever walked in before to discover true personal power and begin to live that out. Can you dig that? Man, I hope you can. So that's what I'm covering all this week in this five-message series on walking in power. As I said at the outset, this is all shown in my Life Domination Online Coaching Group. I'd love for you to join it. It's easy to do. What it consists of is a private Facebook group, which you'll have access to. I administrate the group, and the only other people in there besides you and I will be a whole bunch of other very devoted, committed, motivated people just like you. No naysayers, no critics, no haters, just positive people sharing their personal stories, sharing their challenges, sharing their victories. Each week, I show five videos based on one subject, like I am today, Monday through Friday. And uh, not only that, but you'll also get access to the archives of previous video series, which is now nearing 800 videos on maybe 160 different topics. So you'll get access to all that plus the group. And it's very, as I said, easy to do. You can do the whole thing, in fact, from your smartphone because it's all done in that private Facebook group. So just minutes a day and just cents a day, all less than $20 a month. No contract, so easy to get out of it if you don't care for it. So, But anyway, if you want to learn more about it, visit the link below, metalmotivation.com forward slash life domination coaching. This is CJ, the Metal Motivator. And remember, in whatever you do, don't suck. Metal up.